And Helen, it must be really emotional for you watching what happened to Joanne, because just a couple of years ago, you were in a very similar situation to her, weren't you? What happened? It is. I can uh, totally relate to, to her feelings and just watching her, it seems that it's uh, all coming back and I can uh, feel f so, for, so much for her right now. It's, uh, it's the expectations. Um, I wasn't born deaf. Uh, you, she was. You lost your hearing at 40, which must have been devastating for you. What was life like when you, when you didn't have this, this sense? It, it, was, it is a viral change that you get in your life. I don't think anyone can relate unless you pass through it. Um, it's one of the most important senses that you have in a human body and then allows for communication, allows you to feel safe in a world, to protect people that you love, for example. Um, it's about even professionally. Um, so it affects you very, very much. So when you were able to get these cochlear implants, just what Joanne has had fitted just recently, how did it transform your life? Uh, I remember just when I got the news that I was going to have the cochlear implant, it completely was like, uh, it comes a rainbow again. <laughs> Uh, I was having um, just two weeks before having the news I tried to kill myself so oh it was once you get the news that you're going to be able to hear again to interact with other people it is very huge and overwhelming it changed you now Ralph let's bring you into this conversation because we've got a little bit of audio we'd like to play now which is what we think it sounds like and, and Helena you'll be able to help us here if you have one of these cochlear implants. This is what you hear versus normal human hearing. Let's have a listen. Hearing loss is a major public health issue affecting over 10 million people in the UK. So I'm not sure if you were able to pick that up or not, but it, it's, it's very different, isn't it, from how, say, you and I would be able to hear, Ralph? Yes, that, 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 absolutely. So, and, and I think it's a bit like, um, like high definition TV, for example. So, so, we, so we know that well, there's lots of pixels on, this, on the TV screen, you get a really crisp picture, but with the cochlear implant, um, there's, there's only perhaps sort of 20 to you know sort of 20 pixels if you like it within the ear and so so the quality of the sound isn't going to be as good as n natural hearing. No, but you get used to it don't you Helena and, and we've also got some footage of just like with Joanne when you post-operation had these cochlear implants turned on for the first time let's have a look at this it's amazing. Okay so that's switched on now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds really like a children's voice. Your brain still remember. <laughs> Gosh, that is just incredible, isn't it? No wonder it's so emotional for you, Helen. And I know it's still it's such a huge deal for you now, isn't it? Just a few years on. And do you know what? We asked some of our viewers, and this will get you going as well, what would be the first thing you'd want to hear if you have something like this happen to you? And Eve Smith says, my children's voices. Steve Newton said, Someone saying I've won the lottery. Uh, Janet Mann said music, and Karina says birds singing. I mean, what did you miss the most? Would you say, Helena? Uh, oh, two things. Um, definitely the sound of the waves in the sea. Um, in a weekend after, I went to Little Hampton to hear the sea, and it was just a tear-jerking moment. Mm -hmm. But the first thing that I really rushed on to go in here, it was, I'm sorry, but it was a toilet flush. <laughs> <laughs> toilet because flushing? When I, when, um, when I realized that uh, I've become deaf, I wake up and I went to the toilet and it was always like feeling, oh, it's an awful quiet today. And then he went to the toilet and it was when I flushed and it was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then you just ran down the stairs in panic. Uh, but, oh, it's yes. incredible, isn't it? And, and you must see this every day, Ralph. You yeah. are doing yeah. a fantastic job and giving people their hearing back. And it's incredible, isn't it, the difference it makes? Yeah, I mean, I, th I, th I think this, this um, really illustrates why funding biomedical research into hearing loss is so important, because yeah. it can really radically change people's lives. And, and, and hearing, hearing loss is, is, is often overlooked and neglected. We, we don't think about it very so, much, but we can see the impact yeah. that it can have. And Helena, just quickly, if someone's watching who also has hearing problems or maybe wants to go through this, what, what advice would you give them, do you think? Oh, please, just go. Um, I hear there are uh, children, small children that are deaf. The parents are hearing and they don't want the children to have the cochlear implant. Uh, I can understand people that uh, were born deaf and they are adults and they don't want to become, uh, to go towards the process of again readapt to life. That is totally fine. But if you were born hearing mm -hmm. and if you are deaf at the moment, oh, by all means, go for it because it's great. Oh. <laughs>